Hello everybody! Welcome to the Three Lotus Tarot. If you're new here, first of all, thank you so much for coming to my channel and I hope this reading helps you in your daily life. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you very, very much. I really appreciate you coming back. I just wanted to take this little bit of time to record my appreciation. And as usual, I hope to really give you some good information that will help you in your days. And today we have another pick a card reading. We are going to use the Modern Spellcasters Tarot deck for our main reading and finish off with the Archangel Power Oracle cards. Right, so I'm sure everybody wants to know now what is the question that we're going to ask. What is happening in my life right now that I don't see? Okay, so I think that that's important, especially as we're going into uh, June now. And um, we do have the strawberry moon. Let's see uh, if we can get any ideas about what is happening in my life right now that I don't see. Okay, so pile number one, you have the world. The world with... Look, I had to use this little thing to manage this. So the world with... The angel wing ring okay so the world card with angel wing ring for pile one give me a second while I get this covered up just in case okay so pile one with the angel wing ring pile two is the five of cups with pearl earring the girl with the pearl earring Okay, five of cups with the pearl ear pal two. And then we also have the three of cups. Looks like the three fates to me since they're all floating around. Three of cups with black earring for pal three. So take your time. Which pal calls to you or a combination of all pals? Uh, uh, check out the reading for the pal that calls you the most first and then you may find messages in the other pals as well if you're drawn to them. Check out the timestamps in the description box below and I will see you in your reading. Hello pal one, welcome to your reading. You've chosen the world card number 21 with the angel wing ring so i first of all think that there may be a lot of angels around you who protect you who guide you divinely um, but also uh, the first instinct that i get when i see this card the world is that you are closing off the end of a chapter you have reached a certain completion you have reached a certain uh, finishing of a cycle of a phase in your life right now so let's get some more cats to see pal one what is happening in pal one's life right now that they don't see what is happening in pal one's life right now that they don't see what is happening right now in Pal One's life that they don't see? So Pal One, and uh, you may know that there is something ending, but um, I think you need to go further and reflect on what has it, what has it, what does it mean to you? What does this ending, what does this completion mean to you? Um, it is not an ending that is just uh, like a, a change of. A simple change. It's not a simple change, okay? This is a big uh, um, completion of a cycle that you are going through or that you went through in your life. It is a phase that, that now you are closing off and you're ready for a brand new start. Okay? So you have the Three of Cups. Um, the Ace of Pentacles, you see? Death, yes, a major arcana. Oh, and the star 17, another major arcana. 
okay so like I mentioned uh, part one this is a big ending an ending to a cycle an ending to a phase an ending to a chapter of your life whereupon you're going to go and build the next one what is it that you don't see right now I do feel that this there is celebration in store celebration that needs to happen because this is a whether it is a closing off of a good chapter or a difficult challenging chapter for you it is something that you need to celebrate now because you've come out on the other side and uh, you have learned your lessons you have done what you need to do to accept the karma that was and now like um like i mentioned just now you know like, like i had this vision of the three fates you know i get the feeling that this is like you know this could be significant of the past the present and the future so you have come one full circle the past present and end. now now what you don't see is that there is a new beginning in store for you Ace of Pentacles tells us right here that there is a new, uh, the new chapter has started. Look, the squirrel is here. He's here to gather his acorns. He's here to prepare for, you know, how squirrels gather their acorns and hide them away in preparation for the cold months when there are no nuts, no food. So he's here. So you are now ready. You are ready. If you are feeling um, nervous, if you're feeling a little bit ambivalent, if you're feeling sad that this chapter is ending and you have to go on to something new, you're not sure, you're a bit uh, ooh, nervous, don't worry because the squirrel is here and it shows that you're ready, you know, because the squirrel is not the... You know, like the ant and the grasshopper. The squirrel is not the grasshopper who wiles away his time uh, being all... Uh, playful and and just enjoying life without preparing for the future so the squirrel is somebody who gathers his nuts and stores them away in preparation for the time when there is no food in winter time so th with the squirrel here I feel that you are ready for this new chapter in your life and it, it, that may in itself be something that you don't realize because um, the the closure of this chapter that has just passed even you may not realize it okay you you may feel that okay yes you know now i've signed this contract for example or oh you know i've gotten this person out of my life um and you don't realize that it is actually a very big impactful significant milestone in your life because it's closing off something and therefore you may not know also that there is something new that's going to come about but be whether or not you know that there's something else coming out in your new life you are ready for it you in your soul in your essence you know in your skill set you are ready for it so no worries right there and the death card also shows us of course that big change that big transformation that's happening with the world okay um the death is not a physical death but a a symbolic death and that is uh, very tied into how there is that that ending that you are going through and there is a chance for a new rebirth, a chance for you to practice, put into place what you have learned or a chance for you to do things differently than what you would have done before, a chance for you to practice new habits or new thought processes, okay? And with following death with the star, that's to me a super a powerful combination because after death, you have a rebirth and a, a wish that is fulfilled. So the star in the order of the deck follows the tower usually because the tower is the destruction of the old and then the star is the rebirth and the chance to fulfill um, what you were meant to be in your highest good or a chance to, to have your wish come true. Okay, so the star following death is that there is that metaphysical death 
change, transformation, and now you have a beautiful, superb chance to begin afresh, to grow again, balanced, and you're alchemizing everything. You're putting everything together and that's how you are prepared because you have learned what you have learned. You have gathered whatever you had to gather and honed your skill set, honed your personality, honed your spiritual strength, emotional strength, etc. And that is what is happening in your life right now. A new change for you, a new opportunity in your life for you to be able to really fulfill your highest good. Okay, let's see what else. What else? is happening in power one's life right now that they don't see what else is happening in power one's life that they don't see hmm so let me pick up that card that fell down You see, again and again, we get the same confirmation that you're ready. So the Knight of Wands came out. The Knight of Wands moved the Death card. So the Knight of Wands is ready for action. Just like your squirrel, the Knight of Wands is ready for action. He's got a lot of courage. He's got a lot of confidence. He's got a lot of assertion. He wants to go in there and get things done. Okay, he's on his eagle, a bird of, you know, uh, um, regal standing. So you are there, ready to, to, to fight the fight, ready for what is coming to you. And you've got that bird's eye view of what is happening. And that's why I keep telling you, you're ready. So don't worry about it. Even if you don't know what is this new change that's coming, even if you didn't realize that there was a big ending that happened, it has happened and there will be a big change and you are ready for it. You're, you are going to probably be quite excited about this new change once you realize that it is here. Uh, you are going to go in there with a lot of courage, a lot of um, conviction. And confidence knight of wands for you pal one and you also have the page of swords the page of swords is somebody who is um, young and so I think that this fresh new start fresh new okay start is something that's going to be really cool for you like you'll feel like oh Ooh, you know wow you know I like this I enjoy this and you're going to be able to use um, your intellect you're going to be able to use your your problem-solving skills your uh, analytical skills about it it's going to feel like you are reborn you're going it's a new chance for you to maybe use skill sets that you've not used before or maybe skill sets that you've you have learned in this phase or it's using skill sets that you didn't have didn't have a chance to use for a very long time already uh, but the thing is at the end of the day there is something new for you to try your hand at you're gonna wield your sword like a master okay so there is an offer of something new coming in for you to try fantastic be prepared pal one Right, so we are going to now get uh, some advice from the angels. That's too many cards. We're going to get some advice from the angels. What do the angels want to advise Power One on how to prepare for the new chapter in their life that is happening? How do they prepare? How does Power One prepare for this new chapter? In their life, how do they prepare? How do they prepare for the new chapter in their life? Ooh, so three cards came out. Let's see. Three, no, four cards came out. Four cards, that's a lot of cards. But um, okay, since they came out for you, Pa One, let's unpack them. Um, seven of Ariel. 
You have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. Yes, so that's finished. It would be a good time to take into account some time for reflection, some efforts for reflection, and so that you can really help yourself learn and put into place what is needed for the next endeavor, as they say here. Okay, so there is happiness at the closure of this and, and bringing about the start of something new. And this is a big something new because you have the death and you have the star and the ace of pentacles. So it is a big something new. It's going to be exciting. And look at the card of the seven of Ariel. It is colorful and it is beautiful and this man stands here ready look at his face he's got like conviction he's looking directly into your eyes because he knows he has what it takes and he's not afraid okay and that's what you should be too because you have it you've learned it okay king of ariel Okay. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success use resources wisely. So yes, again, everything is working well. There is cause for celebration at the end of this. Okay, so the angels are telling us what we saw from your tarot cards. Now, is there any advice? Oh my gosh, again, four of Gabriel. Time for a celebration, power one. Abundant rewards for a hard work. Release yourself from burdensome situations. I, I, I just see the same uh, a message being shared to us. And I have a thought about that, okay? Let me read this card for you first. Knight of Raphael is your last um, uh, angel card. Committed romantic relationships. So Knight of Raphael stands for this. Committed romantic relationships. This may be something that's come into your life. Uh, being swept off your feet. Situations or topics that make your heart flutter. Remember what I said about you being excited about this new phase, this new thing? Yep. So we see here too that there are situations or topics that will make your heart to flutter. So what I wanted to share with you just now, which I um, intuitively derived from these cards that are not, um, they don't seem at first glance to be advice from the angels to you about uh, how to prepare for the next step because you know now what is happening in your life, which I take to mean that the next, the very next step that you need to take now is not to prepare um, um, different things, different situations, not to put in place um, different skill sets, not, not to do all that yet for the new endeavor, not yet. What you need to do now first, your very, very next step, pal one, is firstly to reflect. See, we have three cards here that tell you that you have done well, you have worked hard and there is a time for reward, a time for harvest, a time for celebration now. We saw this in your tarot cards but we also see this in your angel cards. So your advice from the angels, your very next step is to Hark back upon what has happened. Number one, take the time to celebrate because you have earned this reward. You have earned this harvest. Number two, look back at that chapter in your life. It may have been months, it may have been years, but it was a significant um, chapter, significant uh, series of events, you know, like whether it's about um, studying and completing your studies or, you know, f uh, finishing up uh, an illness and then getting better. It's a big thing that's happened in your life, yeah? So you need to look back upon this event or series of events and see how you navigated your way through. Really take a look and a deep, deep dive into how you navigated this journey 
because what you learn and what you read between the lines about how you survived or how you successfully completed this journey is what's going to prepare you even more for the next adventure. So that is a big, big piece of advice for you. So many people always forget and they think, okay, wrap, done and dusted. That's it. I'm going to leave this off to the side. I've completed that. Good job. Good job. And, and they forget that it is important to, to have a sit down and have some quiet time to reflect, to think, to appreciate, to thank um, all the parties, all the factors um, that have come together in your situation, in your event or series of events uh, that may brought it about to the culmination. And, and this being a successful culmination for you, I think it's even more important for you to fully understand, fully appreciate so that it does help you prepare for the future, your next ed endeavor. Yes, don't forget that. Celebrate, be thankful, be grateful, and also um, uh, learn from that chapter in your life. It may have been something hard, like challenging. It may have been challenging. That's why, that's why you're even asked now to put the brakes on first before you think about anything else. Put the brakes on first. Uh, think, have a think, have a think, have a feel about past uh, chapter in your life and that wow that was a long one uh, power one I hope that it has been um, uh, uh, helpful for you I hope that things have resonated for you and then you will take the advice from the angels and I wish you a lot of good luck for the next journey and congratulations for completing this past one so well if you've liked this reading, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more readings like this one, do subscribe to my channel, The Three Lotus Tarot. It will really help my channel grow. It will help uh, the videos make its rounds. And I have a vision. I have a vision that I'm going to reach at least 1.2k subscribers uh, in the next few months. And I hope you'll join me in the journey to get there. Thank you so much. And until I see you in the next one, bye-bye. Hello, pal two. Welcome to your reading. You chose the five of cups as well as the pearl earring. So the five of cups here, guys, gave me a really different feel. I mean, first of all, you I do see that you know you are you're feeling not your best now in terms of emotions there may be some uh, sadness some confusion some loss feeling of loss uh, some feeling of i don't know what to do next um and look at this here there is a go little goldfish on the ground in the looks like wine to me and the wine that's spilt after these three cups and then there's this figure here who holds the remaining two cups of the five of cups but what I always get from this uh, is that this figure is pouring the liquid that is in this cups down he looks like you know the way he's standing he looks like he's about to pour the cup over so that the liquid comes out and what I see this to be today with uh, the goldfish is that there is a situation, there is an emotional situation, whether friendship or relationship or even work, you know, uh, or your business. But there is a situation that is causing you pain. And I see you trying to rectify it. See, you're like trying to pour some more liquid onto the fish to keep it alive. So I see you as this, uh, I, I'm hurt or I'm lost or I'm angry or I'm confused. My emotions are not stable, basically. Your emotions are not stable. But what you're trying to do is that you're trying to make it better. 
you are there you are there putting in the effort to try and make it better you're pouring the liquid down onto the goldfish hope that the, the this can help the goldfish sustain and live so is there a desperate situation where everything is falling apart and you're desperately trying to keep it together you're desperately trying uh, to do whatever you can to keep it uh, alive to save it um so i think that this is something that you know is going on in your life what we're going to find out now, part two, is what is happening in your life right now that you don't see. So let's see if there's uh, a different insights or a different motivation or other alternatives for you to help you so that you don't feel this, this emotional imbalance anymore and that you know you don't keep pouring more effort and time into saving into a situation that doesn't look like it can use the help that you're trying to give it right because the the liquid from these two goblets these two cups is not going to save that little goldfish but you're still trying to pour out the the liquids hoping that it can help but i don't think that it will so you may know it too you may know that it may be a hopeless situation it may be a desperate situation but you're willing to try anything pal too okay so let's get some more cards to help pal too because this seems like a difficult, challenging situation that they're in. What is happening? Hmm. What is happening in Pal 2's life right now that they don't see? What is happening in Pal 2's life right now that they don't see? three cards okay that's a lot to unpack but okay so you pal two you saw this card come out the two of wands in the reverse i usually don't keep read cards in the reverse but sometimes i keep them in reverse if i'm called to two of wands here i am going to keep in reverse i do see that you're not balanced at all you're not balanced you know the two of wands is about you know also planning and seeing choosing a decision choosing a, a direction i don't you you don't see that direction you don't know which one to choose and uh, you're not balanced about what is happening in your life right now uh you may not see this you may think that you're trying to save that goldfish you may think that you can save that goldfish but um you're not seeing things with a clear uh, balanced view okay you don't have your full vision with you uh, you may be too emotionally disturbed or emotionally affected that you don't see the situation in its true light all right let's get the rest of your cards seven of cups uh, three of pentacles what you don't see happening lovers the queen of swords and the eight of cups what you don't see happening right now, Pal 2, I believe for many of you, many of you, it is a love relationship. It is a love situation that's causing you this, this upheaval in your emotions. You see, and I always, whenever I use this deck, you know, the first thing that I see about the lovers is the big X in the heart. Like, it's not working, it's not meant to be, it's not surviving. Everything looks beautiful, right? The way a love relationship should look. It looks beautiful, but then how incongruous is it that there is an X on the heart right in the middle of it all? So, this is not working out for a lot of you, pal, too. It is a love relationship that has got you in this situation. You, you wish you had more to give. You wish, look, look, you already used three cups to save the goldfish. You're using two more cups. You wish you had more cups. 
of liquid to help the goldfish. Now we know that um, we know that the goldfish is on the ground. It's not in a pool of water. Pouring water onto a goldfish does not keep it alive. We all know that. Okay, scientifically, that water is not going to keep it alive unless this goldfish is inside a body of water. So, pile two, what you don't see happening is that what you don't see happening also because you're unbalanced, imbalanced, unbalanced about it. You don't see a clear way out. You cannot choose a direction you wish. You still just want to save this this situation or this relationship or this friendship something it's a with somebody that you love whether it's a romantic partner or somebody that you you know you have platonic love for uh, a very close friend for example um, it's just not working you wish you could do more to save the situation but it's not working out uh, the three of pentacles is all about uh, people collaboration I'm wondering if there's a third party actually. Usually we see the three of swords for a third party situation in a love relationship. Um, but like I said, you know, it may not be just a, a, a romantic love. It may be a platonic love. So there may be like an extra person or something extra has come in. Something extra has come in into this uh, couple kingdom that you all had before something's come in and changed it you know uh like i said it could usually it's a sign for collaboration so it could just mean that something new has happened something new has come in to the to the formula that used to be just the two of you and that is what may have made this change happen there is a very strong persona the queen of swords a very strong persona in this uh, perhaps triangle of you guys oh look there's a triangle right there and um, okay so there may be a very strong persona not necessarily female so it's not a gender specific thing but this person has the energy of the queen of swords and the queen of swords is all about you know like she's factual she's cutting she can be very blunt she can very matter of fact very direct Okay, so there's no um, of all the of all the queens, she is the most fierce and aggressive. You know, she's intelligent and she's like, yeah, uh, the way you two have been doing it has been wrong. Let me teach you how to do it. Your other partner seems to be wanting to go along, and therefore perhaps that's what's leaving you feeling unstable. That's what's feeling you making you feel lost. That's what's making you feel um, hurt, perhaps because your partner seems to be listening to this other person more. Wh whichever one it is, this could be your partner as well, right? Who has chosen to bring in somebody new. I'm not sure. Uh, for each of you, you could have your own situation. And so take what it, what it resonates with you, please. But that is what is happening right now in your life. And I think that this reading is here to tell you, Pal, to, to show you what is happening because you don't see it. You don't see it. You don't have the frame of mind to see this because you're too emotionally tied up too emotionally distraught and all you can see all you can think about is how do i save the the formula of two i wish i had more cups of water to pour onto the goldfish okay but at the end of the day pile two the eight of cups is here and the Eight of Cups is about deciding that enough is enough. This is not what's right for me. I am walking away. Pal 2, you have free will to do what you want. These cards show you the energy of what is around you. And the biggest energy that is around you that... I see here is that you don't see the situation that you're experiencing for what it is. That's why you're in this reading now to understand what is happening right now in your life that you don't see. 
and uh, we want to help you the universe wants to help you open up your eyes because you um, are too deeply entrenched in it emotionally to see what is going on All right okay guides from the universe and so on. angels in my higher self anything else please okay so i was asking is that any other uh anything else that we should know and look the wheel of fortune came out how to again a monkey who doesn't see blindfolded so you don't see the situation for what it is and now we have the wheel of fortune which just tells us that it is time perhaps to move on if this is an unsalvageable position it is time to turn the wheel has turned it may be the end of a chapter it may be uh, that it's time to move on to something else and you also have the eight of cups here oh and look you also have the ace of cups the ace of cups and I've always called to this the sign of the high priestess in the ace of cups ace of cups is something new something a new beginning a fresh start to emotions and perhaps also telling you to listen to your intuition because we see the, the sign of the high priestess there listen to your intuition please you may deep down inside know that you know something's happening here it's not right uh, I'm being left out in the call nothing's going to save this now or it's going to be uh, too hard too difficult because how do you save a goldfish that's out of water um, it's time to put yourself first. So fill your own cup first. Self love. Follow your intuition and you will know what to do. And hopefully this reading part two has also opened your eyes to what is happening in your life right now that you don't see. Okay, let's get my Let's get some angel advice. Angels, what can we advise? Pile two, please. What advice do we have? Pile two. What advice do we have? Pile two. The star, pile two. A dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. I talked about the star in pal one and I want to tell you I, I told them I told them that the star follows the tower card in the in in the tarot deck because the the tower deck is all about you know uh, the the obliteration the destruction of the old and then the star follows because it is the rebirth the opportunity to fulfill the wish of yourself uh, and the opportunity to rebirth yourself and uh, really make the situation or your life or you exactly how you want it to be because the old has been blasted away so you can craft and mold the new you and the, your new life in the way that you want for it to be that's why it's called the star so it's a wish fulfillment card um, the end of a difficult situation so the star tells you that you know if you if you choose to you know walk away start afresh it is a different wheel uh, different the wheel of fortune has turned it is a different time now then you know you can still you can make something new for yourself. You can build yourself and your life up to be whatever you want. You don't have to be trapped in this old situation anymore, especially since it is not being uh, healthy or kind or loving to you. And especially if you're spending so much time and effort trying to save the goldfish on the ground if it's not appreciated I hope that you will have that self-respect that you will have the self-love to fill your own cup first to take care of yourself listen to your intuition and um, 
build your relationship, build your friendship, build your life the way you want it to be. It could even it could even mean that this eight of cups. It could even be that there is a departure from the old way. It doesn't. I'm not saying that you have to leave this person and say bye bye and strike off on your own. That's not what I'm saying. You could do that. Yes, that is one way, but. When I say eight of cups walking away, wheel of fortune, a turn of the dial, it's just a new change now. It could also mean that, you know, you guys, maybe the three of you, the two of you come to a decision and agreement, a compromise that things are now different. Things have to change. It is no longer, it's basically just a departure from the ways of the old and there is a new way that's coming for and you can build the new situation the new formula exactly the way you want it to be if now the formula is not two anymore it is a three and both of you accept that and both of you are happy with that then it is a formula of three now so it is a departure from the formula of two all right so it doesn't mean it's not just a one-way street like okay this means i've got to leave the person no, there are many um, uh, approaches to it. It's just that what we're saying is that the old way is no longer working. Uh, there must be a new way that's found. It could be that you're walking away. It could be that you decide to change up the formula. It could be that uh, there's, you know, like an, another option number three altogether. Okay. Wow, all right. That that was a that was a big deep one and I hope that you have been able to get more light shed on a situation that's happening in your life right now that you don't see part to. So, um as always, I hope to be helpful to you guys in, in reading and sharing um some insights and some help and guidance from the universe. If you've liked this reading, please give me a thumbs up and um, if you have any comments about you know how this reading has helped you or if there's any topic any question that you'd like me to address in the future uh, please let me know in the comments and finally I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel The Three Lotus Tarot it really helps my channel grow like I told Pal One I have a dream now a vision I hope to aim I hope to hit 1.2k subscribers in a few months time in two to three months time and I hope you can join me on my journey to do that and help me push along thank you so much and until I see you in the next one, part two. Bye. Hello, part three. Welcome to your reading. You chose the three of cups and the black earring. Hmm. So our question today, part three, is what is happening in my life right now that I don't see? We're going to get the rest of your cards, but firstly, I see this as a card that's indicative of a situation in your life that calls for thanks and gratitude. There is celebration, there is happiness, but it also calls particularly for thanks and gratitude because I see these three people raising their glasses to the heavens and look at the faces of the people the man looks like he's very much in you know and a, a, a grateful adoring, a, a adoring position with his eyes closed the woman has her eyes open Ooh. The woman, okay, we can't see very clearly, but the woman has her eyes open, uh, but she looks very serious. So it's not like, uh, hey, hey, let's have fun and we're going to go for a night out on the town and party away. And um, there is cause for celebration that's happening in your life right now, but I see it as something that was perhaps divinely rewarded to you or divinely gifted to you and that's why there is a need for gratitude and thanks let's get some more cards to see 
what uh, what is happening in your life right now that power three does not see perhaps we can find out more about the situation the guide from the universe what is happening in power three's life now that we don't see second let me take care of a card okay so part three you had the sun come out you have strength two major arcana very very strong energies next to each other the king of cups The Four of Cups and the Six of Swords. So, for some of you, part three, I want to say that the, the, the situation that is happening in your life right now is perhaps the birth of a new baby. So, this came in just now to me. Um, and the birth of this baby was something that was very very long awaited for or eagerly awaited for uh, but it didn't come very easily to you so it was uh, challenging uh, to you and your partner it wasn't easy uh, you have long awaited it and finally the baby came and that's why uh, there is cause for celebration but also cause for the giving of thanks and gratitude okay and uh, with, with the strength card here that's that's uh, how I came to the to the download of of the child arriving being a situation that was hard fought and that it required a lot of strength from you and your partner but now the child is here so that is great news okay and first of all when the, the sun came out it came out in reverse uh, but I don't think we have to keep it in reverse so the children or the child uh, was not easy to come to come across So for the rest of you who <laughs> did not have a baby come into your life, uh, ooh, for some of you, like, you know, what is happening in your life right now that you don't see, if you've been wanting to get pregnant, perhaps you should check. Mm, that could be something else for some of you. Okay, for the rest of you who are not about the babies, Okay, for the rest of you who are not about the baby, so that was a very uh, dominant message and energy that came through to me. Let's see what else there is for part three that is not about babies. So there is a cause of uh, happiness, celebration, teamwork, uh, which is happy, which brought, which utilized a lot of strength. You see, King of Cups also uh, makes you feel like that proud, doting father or mother energy, right? Like people say when their babies come, they're like, I never knew I could love like this, for example. So uh, these cards are, are what really fueled the message about the baby. But other than that, um, let me get a couple more cards I have. I have one idea in my head, but let's clarify. Is there anything else that we can know about what is happening in Paul Three's life that they don't see? What else is happening in Paul Three's life that they don't see? Let me get that card off the floor. The Four of Swords. 
what is happening in Power 3's life that they don't see. You also have the Page of Swords. Okay, let me unpack this. I have to get away from the baby message. I have to get away from the baby message. What is happening in your life now that you don't see Power 3? Um, something has ended or you have moved on from something to another thing. You are happy about this move. It brings you great joy now. It brings you fulfillment, stability. Um, there is a fresh enthusiasm and fervor that you have for this new situation. Uh, and I, I say that because we've got the Page of Swords and we've got these two babies here. So there is a new start of life. There is, a, there is a, the fervor, the excitement, the enthusiasm is there. Um, but it, it, this, was, this was you choosing to go here. You chose this direction. And you, it took a lot of strength for you to do this. It was not the easiest of um, decisions. And that's why even though it was a good move, even though it was a good move um, and you are happy about it, but we still don't see that ha ha ha, cheer and joy here. You know, but, but it is a good move. Uh, you are happy, but it is like a... It's like a serious happiness. How do I say this? It is a, I am deeply grateful that I re made this decision, that I had the courage uh, to make this decision, that I had the opportunity to make this decision and move away to this new decision, this new choice, this new stage, whatever it is. Um, you are grateful. You're grateful for that that uh, for making that decision it wasn't the easiest that's why you took it took you a lot of strength and uh, you had to sail from you had to move from one thing to another thing uh, but at the end of the day it's brought you happiness it's brought you happiness now may be a time for you to rest because it was a hard fight and um, it may be a time for you to just chill and relax first Okay, uh, be in deep contemplation for a short while, um, but be grateful. Be grateful that you you have um, been able to make this decision. Number one, number two, that you effectively carried out the situ the decision, and you moved on. And now it does give you happiness and contentment and joy to be in that new place that that your decision took you to but yeah you take it so it takes some time to rest because it it wasn't it wasn't easy for you to make this decision it felt like you had to wield a very large sword to fight off everybody else it was heavy it was heavy and now all you need is some time for contemplation and rest Okay, anything else that we can tell Pal 3 what is happening in Pal 3's life right now that we don't see? What is happening in Pal 3's life right now that we don't see? One last shuffle. Empress card, guys. Birth of something new. Um, ties in also with the King of Cups for me. Because now you are in a position of strength. You are um, 
confident of yourself you know you are making things grow you are birthing a new life also falls in with the people who had the babies you are now the the mother mother Gaia figure you know mother earth is Gaia the mother earth figure you are the nurturer or you can feel that you're the nurturer now you feel that you have brought this uh, life around you are creating a new life for yourself for the baby or whatever the situation that resonates with you okay the empress uh, oh ten of pentacles it's a good happy situation now it's stable it's going to uh, be long lasting because we do see the different generations here okay it is going to be long lasting it's amazing that you have had the courage and gumption to make the decision and effect it two of wands yes you made the right decision there was a planning that you had to do you had to decide and you chose one way you can see it and so that's brought about uh, ooh, that's brought about the ace of wands a new fresh start you planned it you made it happen you are that boss figure you're that boss figure. You've got the Empress and the Strength and the Sun, Pile 3. So I can tell you very, very clearly that this was not an easy decision. This was not an easy fight. Hence, I remember I said you wielded a very big, heavy sword. Okay, I'm mixing up all your cards. But I just wanted to show you, Pile 3, if you ever, ever doubt yourself again in the future, remember that you made this happen because you've got strength and you have the power of the sun and you are the empress and you made it happen you brought about the ten of pentacles for yourself you brought about the ace of wands for yourself so there is great celebration great thanks to be given and it is irreverent thanks because you know that it is with divine help that you manage to sail across the troubled waters and come to a fresh new start even though things were heavy even though the situation was quite dire okay so what is happening in my life right now that i don't see part three if you haven't moved know that you have the courage to move know that you are divinely helped and there is only good things for you in the future if you have moved pile three what is happening in your life right now that you don't see if you haven't given thanks if you haven't uh, realized how strong and how powerful and how boss like you were in bringing about your new life your new situation then please Give yourself a pat on the back. Thank the people who helped you. Thank the forces who were, that helped you because you made it happen. Okay, that's amazing. I feel that a lot of the readings I'm doing lately are like really, really deep. Okay. Um, you have one card of advice for you. Two cards, three cards now that have come out from the Archangel Power Deck. Mm. so the four of gabriel time for celebration abundant rewards for your hard work release yourself from burdensome situations yes we know that with the strength with the sun with the empress guys um also <laughs> divine guidance the search for meaning in life consider an alternative approach surround yourself with wise teachers or friends so know that you have um the help of the angels the help of divine forces as i told you there is a reverent thanks to be given but also remember to thank the people who have helped you as well as the forces that have helped you and last but not least wow you end your reading with the world pile three 
you end your reading with the world if you were drawn to pal one who also had the world card please go and check that out uh, but it says here a very happy ending coming full circle spiritual growth and insight from Archangel Michael if you haven't made your decision if you haven't made your move you have nothing to worry about pile three if you've planned it do it that is only good stuff there's only good stuff for you waiting waiting for you on the other side including the world a very happy ending and you come full circle and you will give thanks at the end of the day because you will know that you had to make this move it is meant to be i hope that this reading really resonates with you i want it to be helpful to you as always that's why i do all these readings if you liked it please give me a thumbs up it will help the video grow and do please uh, um, subscribe to the three lotus tarot i really look forward to seeing you guys every week three times a week i upload and um, if you have subscribed thank you so much if you haven't please do because i will want to see you in the next one bye bye